despite waves of salty tears, uh, a sea of tears, you could say, from whiny Westerners with too much time on their hands who spend all day on Twitter crying about stuff that they really don't understand, we see that the video game Ghost of Tsushima is achieving legendary status in Japan. What do I mean by that? Well, I'm using legendary status a little bit loosely. Let me show you why I'm phrasing it like that, though. I would like to once again go to our buddy Oliver Gia on Twitter and see what he's saying about Ghost of Tsushima. He's been providing a lot of great updates about the situation and generally provides great updates overall with uh, controversies in the West and how they relate to Japan, so to speak. Here's what he says about this. If you need further proof that the Japanese response to Ghost of Tsushima has been overwhelmingly positive, Famitsu this week awarded it a perfect 40 out of 40 score. It is one of only three Western games in the magazine's history to achieve this. And that is why I am saying in the beginning of this video that it is some sort of legendary status to me. Not even the 40 out of 40. I mean, 40 out of 40 is great. But this last part, that's crazy. One of only three Western games in the magazine's history to have achieved this. That is very impressive stuff. He also goes on to... Uh, write some more about this. Let's take a look. For context, the other two Western games that have received 40 out of 40 scores were Skyrim and GTA V. Let me also just stop there for a moment and say, if you are out of the loop by any chance about the so-called controversy, I will link my prior coverage in the description so you can take a look there if you want. Continuing, Oliver says, Famitsu has been in print since 1986, and only 22 games in total have ever gotten 40 out of 40s. In general, Japanese publications are not as generous with perfect scores like Western ones. Are Western ones generous, or are they just completely corrupt where they will get uh, paid off? I don't know. Uh, continuing, it should be said that Japanese and Western audiences have different tastes, such as Dragon Quest IX and 428 Shibuya Scramble, Shibuya Scramble, excuse me, receiving perfect Famitsu scores. So for Ghost of Tsushima, a Western game set in ancient Japan, to achieve this is truly a remarkable accomplishment. Time and time again, we can, oh, here we go. We might actually get some of the uh, context for people that might be out of the loop here in this tweet. Time and time again, we see that a lot of Western-made media set in Japan can go on to receive surprisingly positive coverage by Japanese audiences. Remember that Western journalists don't represent Japan. Oh, and he also talks about The Last Samurai. This is from, yeah, yeah, I remember he made this tweet like a month ago, and I see the date here, June 14th. Basically, what was going on here is that he was talking about how uh, The Last Samurai gets made fun of a lot in the, in the West, apparently. Uh, you know, some I think a lot of people in the West do like that movie, to be fair, but a lot of these so-called uh, Twitter activists or armchair activists or whatever, they, they give the movie heat. And so in this tweet, he was basically saying that, well, the movie was pretty well received in Japan. I mean, we'll take a look at this very briefly. So he talks about it here a bit, as you can see. He, he talks about some other movies as well. This tweet kind of summarizes it nicely with some satire. Americans say, look at all of these inaccuracies. This is a disgrace to the Japanese people. Japanese people say, hey, Westerners made a movie about us. That's cool. Let's stop and think about that for a moment, though. Satire aside. Is it not pathetic that some people just can't even enjoy entertainment without tunnel visioning some sort of, like, agenda to it? There's a problem with this! There's a problem! People should be mad about this! Dude, chill out. <laughs> there doesn't need to be a problem with everything, alright? Jeez. There's another tweet he made just about uh, 12 hours ago or so, and it's doing really well. It's got over 3,800 likes, over 600 retweets. Basically, you have this person who was saying, uh, in response to Ghost of Tsushima being praised by Japanese critics, this uh, Twitter activist was saying, I really love it when Asian Americans raise serious concerns on an issue and white people go behind our backs to Asia to ask Asians. And it, first of all, what a childish way of even uh, putting this. They go behind our backs. White people go behind our backs. Who, who writes like that? Absolutely pathetic to me. Anyways, go behind our backs to Asia to ask Asians in Asia what they think instead of actually asking us. And, you know, Oliver counters this very well. The tweet's doing really well, as I showed you, almost 4,000 likes there, and people are just laughing at these weirdos nonstop. It's really actually quite something, the, um, the pushback that these Twitter activists have received on this topic. They have been absolutely annihilated, uh, and I think that's pretty cool to see. So thank you all for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this follow-up as well. That's all I have for this one. I will leave a pinned comment with shout-outs for the kind people who promoted the final segment from yesterday over on Twitter. If you posted it elsewhere, thank you. My system only tells me the first 20 on Twitter, though. With that said, I'll catch you in a few hours for the next one. One more thing, actually. The link to that Famitsu review write-up will be in the description for your convenience if you want to take a look. Thanks again for your time. See you soon.